Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just before Christmas last year, I let you know that if you are running an NVIDIA-based system, that NVIDIA had released a hotfix driver, which is an emergency update. Driver 591.67, which fixed color and control panel issues. Now, just to let you know that NVIDIA now has followed up now with a WHQL certified game ready driver which NVIDIA rolled out late yesterday in my region on the 5th of January and the new game ready driver is basically a follow up to that hotfix driver and although it doesn't add support for any new games it does add support for the recently announced DLSS 4.5 upgrade so if we head over to NVIDIA's website, GeForce Game Ready Driver 591.74 WHQL, rolled out late yesterday in my region. That's available for Windows 10, 64 bit, Windows 11, and the size is give or take 920 megabytes in size. And you can click on this download link, and I'll leave this page in the description if you'd like to get your hands on this new Game Ready Driver. Now, in case you're wondering what DLSS is all about in case you're unaware basically what it does dlss super resolution boosts performance by using ai to output higher resolution frames from a lower resolution input so basically how this works is it samples multiple lower resolution images and uses motion data and feedback from prior frames to construct high quality images so that's just a brief overview as to what dlss super resolution is all about now just take note that DLSS Super Resolution requires this driver, 591.74, as a required install alongside the NVIDIA app beta to use it. So those are the requirements, this driver, NVIDIA app, to be able to run DLSS 4.5. And currently over 400 games are supported where you can enhance the image quality using DLSS. So if we have a closer look at the release highlights, it says this game ready driver provides the best gaming experience for the latest new games and updates and resolves key issues which were found in the previous release. So yeah, we've got fixed gaming bugs. And here are the bugs that were featured with the hotfix that rolled out as mentioned. Brightness adjustment issues on various displays that's been fixed. Colors are not applied correctly when using digital vibrance. Slight banding may be observed on gradients in SDR color mode. Here's a niggly issue. Unable to deselect show notification tray icon from NVIDIA control panel. And using RTX HDR in Falcon games was causing black screen on LG OLED TVs. So those are basically the bugs that were squashed with the hotfix update that rolled out just before Christmas last year and have now been bundled into this latest WHQL GeForce Game Ready driver. So if you didn't install that hotfix and you have experienced some of the issues mentioned in this video, then get your hands on this driver. As mentioned, the download link will be in the description. And hopefully this latest game ready driver doesn't introduce any issues because there has been a bit of a bad track record with NVIDIA over the last year or so where their driver updates as I've posted have caused quite a lot of issues for quite a lot of folks but nonetheless just keeping you guys posted if you are running an NVIDIA based system using a GeForce graphics card. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.